But I just want you to be aware there's another main way of uh, valuing businesses. Does anybody know what that one's called? Cash flow discount. It is. It is. So it's something to do with discounting cash flows. Uh, and the way we normally describe it is uh, discounted cash flow. So if you take notes in your, your packs, there's a major valuation camp, if you like, which is multiples. The other one is this one called discounted cash flows. Just so, just so you're aware, discounted cash flows. And um, I'll send this one through. Don't worry about uh, copying this one in. But it's just a chart to illustrate what's involved here. It's a different way of valuing businesses. What they would do, what the bankers do, is project the cash flows of the business year by year. They project the cash flows. They project the cash flows. Then they do something which is called discounting. Again, the clues in the title. They discount those cash flows. And again, another 50-50. Is that great export? Who wants to be a millionaire made it to Portugal and Spain? I'm sure it has, because we've been flooded in Europe with these trashy shows. I mean, do you have, who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, yeah because you have the 50-50, don't you? You're in the 50-50 situation. All right, we've got a 50-50 situation. Another question for you guys at Link Waiters. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Have you heard that phrase before? Yes. Yeah. You've heard that? Is there a Spanish or a Portuguese equivalent? Yes. yes. What, what is it? What is, well, is, well, what, what's well, it well, translate? Well, I don't speak. <laughs> what, what, what does it translate as? It's better to have a bird in your hand than two flying. Oh, it's just, oh a bird in your hand than two flying. Yeah. So it's not in the bush. It's in the, it's in the air. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so a bird in the hand is worth two in the air. Yeah. All right, so you know what I mean? Yes, in the air. No, no. Yes, in Spain, it's a hundred in the air. It's a hundred. So you guys are more conservative. Is that right? You're, you're more worried. You're more worried. Forget about those hundred up there. I'm just this one. All right. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Here's my question, guys. And it could, it could be in the exam paper. All right. But it's not. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. 50-50 chance. Which of those cash flows is going to be discounted more? Which one of those cash flows is going to be discounted more? The year four. Year four. The furthest out, the heavier we're going to discount. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. That's right. So what happens is we discount these cash flows more the further out we are. That's kind of all you need to know, I think. It's a valuation methodology. I do a whole separate course on this. Um, so you're really getting the condensed version. We project the cash flows. We discount those ones the most. We total them up, and that tells us what our valuation is. Okay, and just like we were with our multiples, a discounted cash flow valuation gets us here, and then we've got a route to get to shares value. So that's the other main camp for bankers of valuing businesses, the other main way, as well as the multiples, projecting forward the cash flows and discounting them. The, f the further out they are, the more they're going to discount them. Okay, that's TCF valuation. That's the quickest lecture you'll ever get on DCF valuation.